Sickle. Morning number six, we're still at Carlos's. He went down to Port Charlotte, but he left his keys here. I actually slept on the floor today instead of on the couch, and I actually got a better night's sleep. My legs are still pretty tender and sore on the quadricep and on the sides. We're waiting for a pillow from Amazon Prime, and then we're gonna probably take the tri-rail north to West Palm Beach, or is it Fort Lauderdale? Just got done editing of a green room bolo recap number 12. We're gonna go up on the website today. We need to pack so we can get out of here. It's looking like dreams only dance behind my eyes. Is it all in my, my weight, I'm hovering at around 41 pounds, excluding the clothes that I'm wearing right now, which is just an ex officio shirt, Pearl Azumi shorts, some Hello Kitty socks but it's still not here. Pillow has arrived, Amazon Prime. Size medium, Thermarest camp pillow. Leo's gonna use this. It's around 2.30 and we have a train to catch. Just made it to the tri-rail. We got 10 minutes to spare to get our tickets and get ready to get on this train. This is our journey, and we're able to do it by our rules. We don't necessarily have to pound out every single mile of pain. We did a lot of urban riding yesterday. We didn't particularly we enjoy it. A lot of weaving in and out of traffic. Miami area, not that fun. I felt like I was gonna die a couple times. I think Leo felt like he was gonna die a couple times. Uh, country, backcountry riding is really the, the best part of what we're after. This will get us a little bit closer to knocking out some of Florida. The safety is the number one thing. We're leaving the train station. Sunlight is fading fast. We still got 20 miles to ride until we can hit some camp. We only rode about 15 miles, but we're pulling in to a little camp spot off of A1A in this little Juno Park here. I think we're gonna camp right there. It's looking pretty flat right there. Good coverage. There's a path over there but we should be clear. Leo's coming in. No mosquitoes, that's a good sign. So our strategy here is to keep the tent flat. Poles are all in place. Stuff's going inside that we're gonna be using like pillows and sleeping bags. And then as soon as it gets a little bit darker, we're gonna erect it because there's a path right there. You can see that white not too far away. And if anyone walks by, they're probably gonna be able to see the white tent pretty easily. That's our strategy for stealth camping tonight. If I had to grade this campsite, I'd give it a C. We do have some flat ground. We do have some trees. We're so close to the other civilization of people. We have to wait to put our tent up. We can't be loud. We're eating ramen tonight. Half of a media noche sandwich from earlier. But there is no mosquitoes. That's why it's a grade C. Stealth tenting in a city park. I lied, there are mosquitoes here. We rode about 15 miles today. My legs are still a little bit sore. Leo's taking the Thermarest pillow for a good night test ride today. The temperature is probably in the high 70s, low 80s. Not a lot of air ventilation in this tent, but it's probably gonna be a rough night's sleep. We're about 20 or 30 yards from A1A and we can hear cars going by. If you're enjoying this content the slightest bit, don't forget to give us thumbs up for good juju, vibes and motivation, prayers, thumbs up for all of that. And if you have any questions about the bike tour, leave them in the comments below. I will see you guys in the morning. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>